What's up guys? Welcome back to Vlogger Tag. It's Monday, so it's John Ray, and I'm here in Hocking Hills State Park in the Hocking Hills region of Ohio in Hocking County near the Hocking River inside the Hocking Forest, I believe. Um, we're gonna get some shots here in the park. Uh, it's a lot of caves, some waterfalls, a lot of uh, vegetation and landscape change, so hopefully we'll get uh, some great shots today. Um, I understand that a couple of us have been on road trips, so we've got uh, Watsit's uh, trip up to the uh, open waters or backwaters or outwaters, something. And, uh, and then Rich and uh, his son's uh, trips on the bikes. So uh, I decided to go a little farther uh, than the, the normal Florida uh, state park. Not quite as far as Canada, but I am in uh, just a little southeast, uh, east of Columbus, Ohio, so still kind of central Ohio. And uh, we're going to see these rolling hills and um, a little bit of a rocky and rolling water uh, location has to offer as far as shooting. And I'll check back in shortly. All right, we're climbing our way to Lower Falls, which seemed a little less busy than Upper Falls. And thankfully, there are a number of stone staircases that allow us to find our way up there. But um, some of it's trail, some of it's just some roots and mud. But uh, even the stairs themselves are a little slick, so you got to be careful up here. So it was a little less than a mile to get down here uh, over the hill, over the bridges. Um, waterfall's all right, so overall worth the payoff. So far we've crossed a number of these stone bridges, which uh, are actually pretty nice to look at. However, they can be a little sandy, a little dirty, a little wet, uh, with the water running underneath and the uh, canopy above. Uh, it gets a lot of silt and everything on it, so you gotta be careful walking across those as well. One of my favorite things about hiking in like the hills and uh, the rocky areas of Ohio is the temperature is always so cool. Uh, we've got these big gorges that we're in the middle of a place called Old Man's Cave Gorge right now. And then there's water that flows down through these gorges behind me. Uh, it keeps the temperature cool even in like the hottest temperatures of the summer. I think it's somewhere around 90 outside of the park right now. It feels like maybe 72 right now. So it's very comfortable for hiking all summer long. It's great. We actually just stumbled across something pretty cool here. Uh, there are little towers of rocks that people have set up. And if you actually look behind me, there are dozens and dozens of these that are strewn about in this little gorge. So it looks pretty cool, if you ask me. So we're about a little less than a mile out from um, Cedar Falls, and we're getting close because, as you can see behind me, there is some water. Uh, I'd say that's probably 100 feet up this uh, tree growing out of the crag there with the little bit of waterfall trickling down here. Um, kind of refreshing, but uh, also uh, a little bit slippery again because we've got a, a lot of moisture on the ground. But uh, we're getting close, so hopefully we'll see some cool stuff when we get to Cedar Falls. So we've made it to Cedar Falls, which is a little less than uh, awe-inspiring, but um, we are treated to uh, another cool breeze here because of the uh, cool water coming out of the mountainside, the rocks and everything. And we've got a little pond if you want to take a dip, get refreshed, it's uh, not so bad, but that's the end of the south end and east end of the hike. So time to turn around and uh, do it all over again. And of course, no park, preserve, or public land would be complete without the pinnacle of artistic achievement slash vandalism. I speak, of course, of carving your name or initials in the side of a tree. Uh, you know, two young lovers do to proclaim their everlasting affection for one another. So uh, Tom and Denise and all you other lovers out there, I hope you're doing well and uh, last as long as the scar you put on the tree here. So we're back up to about where we started here near uh, Old Man's Cave. So I'm going to sign off and I guess I'll catch you guys back next week when I get back to Florida. But uh, if you want to check out some of my pictures sometime soon, they'll be edited up on my uh, Instagram. And otherwise, I'll see you in seven days.